Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 action thriller Rumble Through the Dark. The film is directed by Graham and Parker Phillips and it stars Aaron Eckhart, Bella Thorne and Marianne Jean-Baptiste. Now the film focuses on Aaron Eckhart's character Jack who is a broken down veteran fighter who has seen better days, uh, is scratching to make a living, uh, he owes money to the local mobster Big Mama, played by uh, Marianne Jean-Baptiste, um, and he's essentially just trying to get through the days in one piece. He's an absolute mess, uh, he's like an alcoholic, he has like blackouts, uh, he can't remember, his memory's gone to sh shreds, is an absolute piece of work and a mess. Um, so, in order to try and pay back his money, he goes to like the local casino with what little money he has. And he has a good night at the tables, if you like. So he makes enough money to pay back his debts. However, a series of circumstances befall him. He loses his money and therefore he is forced into one final fight. Uh, right at the point when he meets up with and discovers Bella Thorne's character, Annette, who may well be just his long-lost daughter. Right, what are my thoughts on Rumble Through the Dark? Well, I saw the trailer for this a few weeks ago, and I thought it looked tremendous. It, I, I mean, it was a very, very good trailer. Probably showed a bit too much, but for me, it, it kind of really got my interest up on this film. And I have to say, after what after watching this now, I, I, I was deeply impressed with this film. Um, it 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 had no right, if you like, to be as good as it actually is. This film. Um, now it kind of sells itself as like a fighting film, this, and it is in actual fact it's based on a book called The Fighter, which I haven't read. Um, but you need to go into this really understanding what you're going to go and see. Um, yes, there are some fight scenes in this, but they are few and far between. Many of the fight scenes that you'll see in this are kind of street fights. Um, there's one major fight at the end of the film, which doesn't disappoint, I'm not going to lie. It's a very, very good fight, and brilliantly brutal and very nicely choreographed with full of emotion. Um, but that's the only real major fight that you get. The rest of the film is just kind of scrappy stuff. Um, the real crux of this film is the amazing lead performance by Aaron Eckhart. Now, I, I mean, I, I knew, and I suppose many of you watching this already knew, that Aaron Eckhart is a fantastic actor. Um, honestly, I'm not sure he's been better than this performance um, and it, for me, it's a shame that I don't think enough people are going to see this film and enough people are going to give Aaron Eckhart the plaudits from his performance in this film. I mean, it, it's outstanding. For me, one of the strongest performances I've seen this year uh, by any actor in any film, it is that good a performance. Um, you know, he's playing this completely and utterly broken man. I mean, at the beginning of the film, I actually thought it was going to like lean really heavily into the all, all the old cliches, you know, this broken down fighter, alcoholic, having flashbacks, and I could have, I could have been it, I could have been great, all that kind of stuff. And um, it kind of doesn't do that. It kind of shows you these tropes, and then it gives you this performance by Aaron Eckhart, um, and it's like he's a man on the edge, he's a man absolutely desperate. Um, clinging on to life, really. You know, he's got very little to live for, but he's still trying to hang on and live. Uh, the main thing he has to live for now is the house of the woman that raised him, like the foster parent that raised him and was the only person that was ever really good to him when he was a child. Is in disrepair and it's about to be taken over, if you like, by the banks. So he's desperate to kind of make the money that he needs to keep that house going because she's like in in like a, um, a residential home and he wants to kind of take her back home and look after her, you know, because he's got this real loving relationship with her. Um, so he's, it, 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 he's got that going for it as well. He's, he's, he's 
he's, he's wanting to do all the right things, but he's absolutely no idea how to kind of do it. Um, and then you've got the Bella Thorne situation. Now, Bella Thorne, um, former Disney actress, I think. I've seen her in a few things over the years. You know, she's never really been on my radar as a great actress or anything. But, you know, she's earned her stripes in this film. I thought she was very, very good. I mean, the film... It's got this really grime and dirty, muddy feel about it. It's set in the deep south. You know, um, all the accents are there and they all seem pretty genuine to me. It doesn't seem like a very nice place to live, all that kind of stuff. Dark and dingy and crime everywhere. Um, my, mo my major criticism for this film, and it's, and it's what... I mean, you'll see the score I give it at the end, and I almost gave it a point lower because of this. Is this Bell this Bellathorn character Annette? Um, how she kind of meets Erin Eckhart's character Jack in this film is, you know, beyond coincidence. I mean, she's 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 kind of travelling with this mobile fair, you know, this group of. Um, well, con men, really, and criminals that kind of travel the country, like putting up like a fair in the local area so people can go on the fun fairs and see all the shows and stuff. And she travels with them, and she's essentially a stripper. But what she's actually looking for is her father. And she thinks she's found her father with uh, this Aaron Eckhart character, Jack. Um, and how they meet and their kind of acceptance of each other is, for me... The film does a poor job of kind of projecting that, you know, this this emotion that was she was supposed to feel through her when she's kind of watching the fight at the end. It was hard to buy it because they'd only really just met. Um, do you know what I mean? And it was almost like that was her father and they'd had this deep relationship for the last 15 years sort of thing. So I think it, it mishandled that side of it, their relationship... Um, but you also got the feeling that, you know, going forward, you know, there was going to be a real bond developed between the two of them. So this is probably one of the biggest surprises of the year for me. I What I expected was kind of like, you know, a fighting film, like a bit of a mixed martial arts, like street fighting film. Um, what I actually got was a film that has plenty of that in it, but it is much more of um, the dramatic elements of the film completely and utterly took me by surprise um, and a, a towering performance by Aaron Eckhart not just the acting side of it but the physical side of it as well I mean he, he gives everything in this um, film and I, I, I personally hope that you know it does get recognized I mean I'm not saying obviously he's going to get nominated for Oscars and things but I just think it is he gives his heart and soul in this before in, in this film and this in this performance as Jack um, and it's always a worry that he's just going to go on noise. So if you do get the opportunity to check this film out, please do it. Please understand what you're going into. Watch. It's not just an action film. It's not just a fighting film. It's much more than that. But you, if you're patient, you will get that side of it too. Um, so yeah, um, definitely check out Rumble Through the Dark. Uh, a real pleasant surprise. So. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you liked the review. If you did, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I will, of course, be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.